Welcome to the Empowered Mind Podcast with Joelle and Natalie Rivera. We are on a never-ending quest to master the power of our mind, develop a growth mindset, and explore the leading edge of positive psychology and human potential so we can take radical personal responsibility for creating our destinies and reaching our potential. So we want you to ask yourself, are you saying yes to life? Are you saying yes to the possibilities, to the opportunities that come your way? Or are you stuck in that no mode? You know, where every time something feels maybe a little uncomfortable because it's not part of your routine, part of the things that you want to do, you quickly say no. Whether somebody inviting you to do something, whether it's an opportunity, something in your, your business or your, your job, or maybe meeting someone new that might transform your life. Are you stuck in that no pattern? And another way to look at it is what are you saying yes to? Are you saying yes to the things that you know that you want and to the opportunities that come your way when a possibility pops up and it's something that you can take action on? Are you taking the steps necessary to move you towards what you want? Or again, are you stuck saying no when even though you know that the thing that's you know right in front of you is the next step towards what you want? So it's really about being honest with yourself about what you are and are not saying yes to. And a lot of times people ask me, well, how do you have maybe no fear in doing something that's completely new or deep diving into something or even speaking in front of people or just doing the things that you, we do? And part of it is that it's not that we don't feel fear, is that we understand that sometimes the fear is a sign that we should do it. Because sometimes creating change in your life creates fear because it's unknown, unknown of what happens. You know, what if we fail or what if it does open up new doors and opportunities that we're just not ready for at this time because we don't know the final outcome. But it comes down to recognizing that sometimes when we feel that fear, it's an opportunity to say yes and create a new life. And the truth is, is that bravery is not the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And so again, I'm going to ask you to be honest, what are you saying yes to? Are you saying yes to yourself and to your life? And are you saying yes to the wrong things? Yeah, because either way, you are saying yes, that's mm -hmm. the truth. It's just you might be saying yes to things that you should be saying no to. Yeah. And a lot of times what tends to happen in our lives is that we look at a situation and say, yes, I'm going to do this, but it's not really what we want. A lot of times we say yes to a lot of people when they're telling us, hey, I need your help in this, or can you, you know, can you do this for me? But we know that we still have other priorities, other dreams, other things that we want to explore, but we fill ourselves with everyone else's yes, but we don't really fill ourselves with our own yes. We don't learn how to say no to those things that are not really in our best interest, that do not serve us, or we really just don't want to do. And sometimes we have to stand our ground and value our own time and then start saying yes to us, to what we really want, and start saying no to the things that we don't want. And so here's another question for you. What do you need to say no to going forward in your life? Who do you need to say no to so that you can say yes to your authentic self and the life that you want to be living? So at the end of the day, we just hope that you start saying yes to you, start living the life because it all starts by making that small decision. And it could be a small decision, whether you get out of work and you're all tired and you're like, well, I don't really want to go over there. Even though I know I might meet good people, or even though I know it might help me, or I don't want to go home and maybe work on my project that I know is going to help my career or help my business. To start saying, yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to commit to taking the next step. Yes, I'm going to do whatever it takes to live my life, to live my dreams. I'm going to stop by that park on my way home and just take that 10 minute walk to really connect to nature and make me feel alive. Start saying yes to being alive. You have one life to live and this is your opportunity to embrace it and live it to its fullest. It's time to start saying no, even in those circumstances where you might disappoint someone else so that you can be true to yourself and say yes to your own future and yes to being the best that you can be because really, unless you do that, what else do you have to give anybody else anyway? Thank you fellow Freedom Junkies for listening. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna help us grow, please rate and share this podcast. 
You can also become a member of Freedom Nation. Visit freedomorbustpodcast.com and sign up to receive access to exclusive content and take the 21-day happiness challenge. As you know, we believe that entrepreneurship is the ultimate form of empowerment, which is why we created the Side Hustle Business Startup Course for anyone looking to create their own income and take back their power. We offer an exclusive discount for our podcast listeners. Find out more at freedomorbustpodcast.com.